Scoreboard is based around the idea that you improve what you measure. This is a quick demo of the software that shows how three different types of people would use it. So if I were a typical employee, I would care a lot about this home section that you see when you first log into the software. Over here in alerts, I can see that total gross profit has taken a turn for the worse, and I can click on it to drill down. But I also see that I have some responsibilities over here. There are eight key performance indicators that I own. There are three KPIs that I update, and there are two tasks that haven't been completed yet. So I'm gonna click on KPIs that I own. And this shows me all of the key performance indicators that I'm keeping an eye on. There are filters on the top, right? So I can click on the red just to filter down to the red KPIs. And below that are KPIs I update. Now, oftentimes you'll have scoreboard completely wired up and pulling data from your databases, but there are sometimes KPIs that you update by hand. And these are the three that I'm responsible for. So every month I'll log into the software and I'll type in values for product revenue and training revenue and book revenue. And that's it. Uh, if I'm a typical employee, I really just want to keep an eye on the things that I'm responsible for. And the home section does a great job of that. Another type of person who would use scoreboard is a high level executive. They're going to spend a lot of their time in the bookmark section where they click through the five or six screens that they really care about and then move on with their job. Here's a sales pipeline dashboard. You can see how ad clicks go to leads and then new trials and new customers who are doing great here at the bottom of the funnel, not so hot at the top. Here's a customer satisfaction dashboard. We're tracking customer satisfaction with a survey, also customer churn. We're trending in the wrong direction on both of those. Here's a product delivery and effectiveness dashboard. Are people actually using our product? We can see infrequent use customers is going down, but we're still in the green. And here frequent use customers is going up and we're in the yellow. And finally, user and influencer engagement dashboard. Are people talking about us? Uh, these days, a lot of that is on Facebook and Twitter and Google, right? These are social media, but we're also tracking old fashioned article mentions. If you want to click forwards and backwards, you can go back through time, see how things were performing before. And that's a lot of what these high level executives are going to be doing. They're going to have dashboards with leading indicators like this. But they also might want to track, uh, say, red KPIs. So they'll run a red KPI report from their bookmarks. Or check on downward trending KPIs. These are all of the KPIs in the software that are doing worse this month than they were the previous month. Or you could keep an eye on an important initiative. Scoreboard has some pretty smart algorithms that can predict both schedule and budget. In this example, we're going to be 21 days late, but just under budget when we're done. And if you scroll down, you can see how this initiative has been performing over time relative to its goals. And that's high level executives. They're going to click through their bookmarks in the morning and get a good overview for how the entire organization is performing. A third type of person who'd be using scoreboard is a power user. Instead of using the bookmark section to see how they're performing, they're going to actually dig into the software and visit the actual sections. So we'll start with scorecards. And now for the first time, we actually have to choose an organization. This is my company's org tree and I'll choose financial. So these are all the KPIs for my financial organization. They're sorted by key performance area. Here's revenue, cost of sale. We'll click on revenue to expand and here's our key performance indicators. There's product revenue. We can see how that's performing over time. Training revenue, book revenue. It's kind of like a big library where you store all your important KPIs. We can switch organizations by clicking up here and we'll switch to the Root Mobile World Incorporated organization. And there are linked KPIs. For example, here are our revenue KPIs, but they're also pulling other KPIs from other organizations like here's customer satisfaction survey. We've seen this initiative before. This is the initiatives section within scoreboard, but here's the build a search engine optimization capability initiative. Again, we can see its performance over time. And the last section under data is the document section. You can upload any kind of document like a Word document or a PDF and link it to an existing measure or initiative for supporting information. Now let's go up a layer in the stack to the presentation area. We've got dashboards. Uh, here's the key performance indicator history dashboard. Here's another effects of IT initiatives dashboard. Here we're tracking key performance indicators and initiatives on the same dashboard to see if one's affecting the other. 
Under charts and reports, uh, we've seen the red KPI report before. Here's a sales report, which is gonna show you the same KPIs over time for an entire year. And finally is briefings. It's a lot like PowerPoint, except for that the data behind the images that you're seeing is live. So let's start the presentation. And you click through one slide at a time and you can actually see how you're performing. So here's a sales pipeline. Here's the effects of IT initiatives, sales breakdown, our sales report. And we've seen this before, but if you ever want to drill down and see more information, all you have to do is click on something and it'll pause your briefing and you can actually interact with the data live. So you can see how this is performing. You can click around, do whatever you want. And whenever you want to resume your presentation, you just click the link in the top and you're right back where you left off. So that's Scoreboard. It helps you track your KPIs so you can improve your performance as an organization.